We're here with Blues defender Roy Meuse, and you're quickly developing a reputation across the USL as being one of the most dangerous free kick takers. And we wanted to know what is it that makes you so successful whipping the ball into the danger area? Could you give us some tips? Uh, well, I've always been pretty good at uh, whipping in those free kicks. I've been taking them since, uh, since I've been playing. And uh, having a left foot is always a, a benefit. There's not a lot of those. And just a lot of training, you know. Like you just train every day, get, get some balls after practice, whip in 10 balls, and then uh, you'll get it. So there has to be a science behind it, though. Is there a certain spot when you go to hit the ball that you want to hit? And also, which part of your foot do you want to hit the ball with? Yeah, it's more your inside foot, but like in between your upper side and your inside. So it's more this side of your foot. And you just try to hit the ball a little bit more on the outside so it has that spin towards the goal which makes it dangerous. And obviously, so. depending on the situation and the placement of the ball, you have different areas in which you want to put it, the ball into, but where do you generally like to place the ball? Usually between the like penalty point and the box. So that line is like the ideal line, whipping it, going it towards the second post. So if no one touches it, it should go into the side net of the second post. That's the ideal free kick. So can we watch you strike one or two balls? Of course. Awesome. So we're all set to go. We've got Josh Cohen in goal, and you're not going to get instruction like this anywhere else, so pay attention. Roy, go ahead. Here go we go, ahead. Josh. <laughs> nice. Uh, little. feel like I've learned a lot in just these few minutes. So now I want to test it out and I want to see if I can do it as good as you. Let's see. And I also want to I want to get your coaching points after I hit each ball, okay? So remember I haven't warmed up, so this could be a uh, a hamstring or a groin within the first <laughs> within the first 2 minutes, but Let's uh see. All right. So just got to change boots here. Strike the under part of the ball and you want me to hit it with Kind of where the tape actually is. Exactly it's not here that where bad. your laces start. Okay. A little higher, not with the inside, because you won't be able to sit, uh, put enough power. Got it. Try to hit it with this one on the outside where you put it, outside of the ball, All so right. it has that curve, and you also have the power to place it. Make sure so you're. How's my run up? Should my run up be a little more here, or should I be kind of more sideways Depend to the ball? The, much, the further you go angular, the more it's going to spin. Okay. But also, the less power you're going to be able to set. So, so maybe it's how you it's how you feel. Some guys uh, like line up their pace, but yeah. I just get a comfortable distance. Make sure your foot is placed a little bit behind the ball, so you have that uh, lift off from the ball. If you place it too short, you're gonna hit it low. Okay, so let's see. That's actually That's better than Royce. That's actually a really good hit. <laughs> Little more power behind it though, no? That's that's pure practice though. See if I get a little more power. I'm a little scared of, of yeah, the groin, of considering it's been about ten years, but yeah. we'll see here. So we've got Josh out. Hopefully it's not too close that the keeper gets to it, but that's a great ball. Coaches, you watching this? We got it, we got it. Give a pair of boots. One more. Josh is on his line. Should, should I try and catch him at his near post? Ah, not too much. Technique's really good. So, what uh, coaching points would you give me heading into this last one? Um, actually, you. You've been doing really well. The only thing that's missing is the face, but that's because uh, obviously you're not training uh, every day, and that comes with uh, hitting a lot of balls. You'll get the face in there. I think uh, technique-wise, it's really good. This, uh, the trajectory of the ball is perfect. So let's see it if you can keep that up. That's a great ball. Well, can't get any better instruction from Roy Mews. Thank you so much for your time and we look Thank forward you. to seeing many more of those free kicks throughout the rest of the season. Thank you.